Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, as you can see, I was invited to the Hulkbuster beta, and I have not gone in there. As you can see, we have 4 hours and 22 minutes left, so we've got to do it. we got to get in here. Alright, so, I'm going to select Participate, and get in there, and let's take a look at this new Hulkbuster. Uh, one of my alliance mates posted up the uh, abilities, so I had an idea of the abilities of this Hulkbuster, but that was about it. All right, let's uh, go to my six stars because I was blessed with a six star Hulkbuster. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at. His attributes here, I don't know if they are any different. I didn't do a comparison. All right, so you guys can see there the tags, all that good stuff. All right, block proficiency, yeah, not all that great. All right, and let's take a look. Synergies, I don't know if he has any new synergies or not, but you guys can take a look there. All right, and let's see here. His awakened ability, we don't, uh, let's see, Hulkbuster's armor is reinforced upon receiving damage, making it stronger, okay. Yeah, is this, um, this is not updated. This is not his updated abilities, what's going on? Hmm, hold on, let me see. They must have given me a Hulkbuster. Tells you how often I go in here. I seem to remember that. Okay, so that's my regular Hulkbuster. Okay. Okay, that's the same old, same old. All right. Huh. Okay, maybe we won't be. Ah, there he is. Okay, that's what it is. All right, all right, all right. We got it, we got it. Okay, so let's go into the beta here. Yep. And I was a bit confused, but you have to grab the Hulkbuster from, you know, you have to claim it because I have Hulkbuster as a five star and as a six star. So I went in there going, oh, yeah, I got a six star Hulkbuster, but I forgot that they actually do that. They did that before. Uh, they give you the champion. So even if you don't have the champion, uh, you can still participate in the beta. All right. So here we go. Uh, you can see the little B in the parentheses so you can dif differentiate between that Hulkbuster here and the beta one. All right, so let's uh, let's use some items. Mm. Yeah, I should, I'm always scared to do that because I, I it's on beta so it shouldn't affect anything. Let me See, survey's now available. No, no, no. All right. Uh, let's go to the store. All right. So we got Awakening Gem. I'm going to grab that one. But I should be able to use the other one, no problem. I'm just nervous. All right. Let's grab those. Grab another... And we are going to rank him up. Okay. One to two. Two to three. Three to four. And four to five. Okay. And let's see. All right. And... 
ISO, which we will need. Okay, grab those. Just grabbing a bunch. Don't know how much I'm going to need. All right, then we're going to go ahead and rank him up and take a look at him. But we can take a look at him before we rank him up, before he looks too impressive. All right, so let's take a look at his info here. And, hmm, Veronica, Mark II. Let's go ahead and use this Awakening Gem on him. And briefly take a look here, just so you guys can compare and see how he grows. All right, and there's his uh, synergies, all different. So we actually did inadvertently do a comparison earlier because uh, I was looking at the Hulkbuster, but that's the old Hulkbuster. So you now have a comparison here. Um, you've got one with uh, Yellow Jacket launching a special attack, converts one armor up buff into a Fury that lasts 10 seconds, granting 30% attack. Okay. Don't mention Puny Banner. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, let's see. Up to 1,000 armor rating based on how Hulkbuster's current health is. Woo. And it's got my boys, Hulk. Engineering experts. Each shock debuff reduces the opponent's offensive ability accuracy during special attacks by 15%. All right. And then you've got some down here, gain critical rating and health. All right. Let's um, upgrade him right quick here. And then we will take again a look at his uh, stats to see, you know, how much they've improved. You know, that gives you an idea of how he scales. All right. And let's go ahead and... Okay, why didn't Smart Select kick in? Okay, that's an interesting... It should have kicked in right there, but it didn't. All right, he's ranked two. It's going up nicely. Let's go to rank three. Yeah. I got to <laughs> unenable un it or disable it and then enable it for it to kick in. All right. Go to stash. Where is that? Okay. Better not use my ISO up. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going here. Okay. Let's get him up to rank four. Looking beefy, man. Looking beefy. Okay. All right. And let's go ahead back into stash. Grab a bunch more. Okay. Grab another one, all right, and one more level, and he will be maxed out. All right, okay. Let's grab some more here. And let's pump him up. Pump, 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 pump it up. Okay, see, that time it did it. All right. Let's go to the stash again. Grab some more tech. And we'll have to make another trip to the stash. Grab some more tech. That should do it. Should be enough. Yeah. All right. We should have. Yeah. There we go. All right. Maxed out Hulk Buster. Now, let's take a look at his attributes so you can compare. Look at his health in comparison to the old health. 
And there's the percentages there for his attributes. All right, let's take a look at his abilities. Uh, let's see, brought below 15% health once per fight, 100% chance to activate a self-repair. All right, so 15% is not a lot. I don't know about you. Remember, um, if you've watched my other video on Storm, she has a mechanic where um, she's got things activating when she goes below 30% health. And I was not a fan of that either because I want to fight and not get hit. Um, this is something that's a nice to have if you do go that low. But chances are in high level content, you're going to get wrecked. By the time you're low like that, chances are you're going to get wrecked. Um, maybe if it was, you know, 40 or 50 percent, maybe. Uh, let's see. 100 percent chance to activate self-repair. Yep. Yep. Um, this buff is lost if he's stunned. OK. Uh, giant Buster uh, attack rating while self-repair is active. OK. So he gains attack gains health uh, and uh, the higher the sig I guess the higher the self repair potency so um, it's 14% 614 um, extra attack and 5262 more health over 12 seconds so let's use up the sig stones here Whoops. And we can compare what he looks like, how he scales, how his SIG ability scales. I've already hit confirm, so it's just taking his time. Yep, they go to the icon. All right. And let's grab a... Uh, mm. All right. Well, let's go to the stash. Get over here, and yep, there they are. Just want to make sure. All right, and um, let's grab him again. Here you are. Use items. All right, so we'll grab a few more as soon as it. Uh, goes ahead all right there we are all right so let's go to the store and i'm just going to grab as many come on keep going uh, even though we only need uh, about 40 that's fine i don't know why i keep hitting the back button like that um habit i suppose all right and uh and i didn't grab them Okay. Grab them. Okay, see that time the back button worked the way I was expecting it to. Okay. There. So now let's take a look. Of course, by this time I've already forgotten the numbers. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, if I remember right, uh, Iron Wall was around 14, so it went up to 45. Uh, and each of these, and I know his health was not that high, so um, he scales nicely. That That's a lot. We'll take a look at that. Uh, I'll purposely get hit and see, you know, what it looks like. All right, let's see. When fighting as an attacker, so he has different modes, fighting as an attacker... Uh, let's see, enter Giant Buster mode, and he gets up to 614 attack rating based on how large the opponent is. That reminds me of, of Rhino. Not a lot of people know that the chance for Rhino to be uh, unblockable when he dashes is based on his opponent's size. So here's another ability based on the opponent's size. So he gets more attack, I'm assuming the larger the opponent is uh, let's see uh, he gains attack for each shock effect on the opponent that'll come into play since he does put shock on them uh, enter iron wall mode enhancing Hulk's defensive abilities that's when he's acting as a defender okay 
And let's see here. Whoops. Uh, start of the fight, and every 15 seconds, he's going to gain an indefinite armor up. So right there, he's a great option against... Uh, he was already a great option against him, but he's a great option against uh, Havoc. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't think he gained his armor unless they gain a Fury. So now he's going to gain armor up regardless. All right. Uh, Max Stacks, Giant Buster, 2, and Iron Wall, 4. All right. And here's that brought below 15%. He's going to gain an indefinite armor up granting uh you know 370 armor rating and if in iron wall he gains a second armor up so the signature ability is definitely a nice to have but i'm not a fan of the whole below 15 percent i would love to see that number up all right when he's fighting anyone other than a cosmic champion each armor up gives him these uh benefits he gains energy resistance. He gains critical damage rating. So that's probably why his stats didn't look all that impressive because he gains them in another way. Uh, incoming bleed and poison suffer 25% potency. Uh, I believe I was told that this does not apply to suicides. So that's a bummer. Uh, energy attacks suffer uh, from 20% offensive ability accuracy. And energy attacks um, suffer a lower critical damage rating. So they're going to crit less for every armor up buff as long as they are not a cosmic champion. All right. When he's struck by uh, criticals, he has a 60% chance to consume one armor up buff to inflict a shock debuff. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Um, and that deals energy damage over 10 seconds. Heavy attacks, 100% chance to inflict a shock debuff. So we were talking about the different benefits that he gets from having a shock debuff on the opponent. All he's got to do is fire off a heavy. He has several ways to, to do it. We just went over a couple. All right. Um, special attacks, 100% chance to inflict an armor break, uh, removing one armor up buff and reducing armor rating uh, for 20 seconds. And 100% chance to gain an unblockable buff lasting one second. So basically his special attacks are going to be unblockable uh, for at least one second. All right, now here's his specials. 100% chance to stun. All right, good, good. If the opponent's block is broken by the attack, all of Hulkbuster's armor up buffs are consumed to add uh, 1.25 seconds duration to the stun debuff for each armor up consumed that way. Okay. Um, so you're going to gain a longer stun at the expense of your armor ups. I don't know how useful that uh, is. Um, but if you're going into their block, it says if it's broken, though. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not so sure about that one. We'll have to see. Uh, special attack two. If the opponent's block is broken by this attack, all beam attacks have 100% chance to inflict power burn. So he's got a little power uh, control. Uh, draining one bar of power per hit. Wow. And inflicting direct damage proportional to the power drained. Wow. That special attack two looks legit. 100% uh, chance to power lock. Wow. For three seconds. Okay. And finally, his special attack three, this attack drains 50% of the opponent's current power. I like that. That's some more power control. So if they are, if you push them to a special three, but you're close to a special three, don't worry about it. Just go ahead. Reminds me of Corvus' special two, but even better because this drains them 50% of their power. So... Very nice, very nice. Inflicts up to three shock debuffs, so that's another way to put uh, shock debuffs, each having 80% chance to activate, dealing energy damage over 20 seconds. Uh, unblockable buffs triggered during this attack gain 4.5 seconds duration. Okay, Hulk Buster is looking buffy. Let's uh, go on over and play around in 
let's see. There we are. Quest has expired. What? Um, in uh, Realm of Legends. And see what he looks like against Winter Soldier. All right. Let's find you. I'm going to find you and make you. All right. Let's see. Mm. All right. We'll add that one. Eh, we'll add that one. I don't think that one makes too much of a difference. And yeah, we'll add this one. Corvus Synergy. What do you know? And sure, we'll add this synergy as well. All right. Let's head in here and see what he looks like. And of course, this is my first time playing around with him. Uh, so let's just see what he's about. What do you look like? What it is? What he gonna be? All right, Giant Buster, cause he's in attack mode. All right, fire off that special one. Okay, armor break. Okay, I saw. Okay, the stun. Cool, cool. That stun did last a little bit longer. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at his special two. And of course, I want to wait for him to block to fire off that special two. I want to see what that looks like. All right. Come on. Block, 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 block. Nope, nope. I want you to block. No, nope, he wouldn't block. Okay. We'll try it again. It's funny. When you want him to block, you don't want to block. See, he's blocking there. That's what I wanted him to do before. All right, let's try that again. But that damage is looking legit. I'm not even doing uh, anything to really uh, increase his damage here. All right, here we go. There it is. Saw all that power got drained. All right. So when he don't want to fire off or he doesn't want to attack and he's blocking, I can hit him up like that. Hit him up. Hulk Buster style. All right, let's uh, take a look at his special three. See what that does. All right. Let's see, I got two armor ups. Okay, let's see what you got, Hulk Buster. Okay. Whoops, I let up off the uh, block, don't ask me why. All right. Okay. Hmm. Whoops, can't do that when they have a bar of power. See, like that, you can't do it when they have a bar of power. And of course you attack him and but you see the damage he's doing. That's crazy. Whoops. Fired it off too far. Get you there. All right, bait that out. Get him in the corner. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Can't do it again. Because he's got a bar of power. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know your end is near. Okay. Um, Huck Buster is legit. Now, I've seen some other videos, and this is me getting hit, not even doing his proper rotation. But he still took down Winter Soldier faster than a lot of champions would. All right, so this Hulk Buster buff looks legit. Um, I don't know what you guys are thinking. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new Hulk Buster. Keep in mind, this is the beta. So there's no guarantee that he's going to make it to live in this particular condition. Uh, you have to say that all the time because people get upset. The beta is for testing things out. So you don't call it a nerf 
if they change it on the beta. That's what the beta is for. Okay, but I like this buff. I believe Kabam has done it again. Now, do I think he's worth a rank five? He's definitely worth rank uh, worth rank four. Uh, I don't know if he's worth rank five, but he looks legit. Kabam has a great history of buffing champions and making them very much uh, worthy of ranking up. And I believe Hulkbuster is no exception. Uh, the only reason that I'm hesitant to say worthy of a rank five is mainly because if you have a developed roster, then you probably won't rank him up. You know, when they did the whole, uh, the Colossus buff, I had a use for all those immunities that Colossus had. So I took him to rank five. Hulkbuster, in my current state of the game with my roster, I'm not sure I would use him, but with those shock debuffs, he's going to be great for any shock path or anything like that. So he has a lot of use in the game. However, depends on your roster. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. I like the Hulk Buster rework. Um, I hope he makes it to the live with uh, all of these abilities and everything intact. So click like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, what do you think about the Hulk Buster rework so far? Uh, we'll learn more. I've seen other videos where, um, like Seton, uh, did some crazy damage, took down Winter Soldier in under 50 hits. So I wasn't doing anything like that. I uh, wasn't going for max damage or anything. Just showcasing a little bit, playing around. This is my first time looking at him. So just be aware that he's capable of doing a lot more damage than you saw here. All right. Uh, not really suicide friendly, uh, which is why he probably wouldn't have as much of a use for me since I run suicide masteries all the time. All right, so that's going to do it. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.